Hey, check this out. I learned an editing technique. Wow, did you see how smooth that was? Just jumped all the way from my ship to here. Crazy. Um, yeah, so, uh, I'm gonna show off some mechan a mechanic that no one I see use. So, you're low level, and you want to do the sortie. But, sortie 3, it's an excellent stronghold defense mission, and you can't kill anything, because they're all too durable. What do you do? I mean, not everybody has a Riven Mod Redeemer, but you don't need one. Because, what if you could avoid taking all damage, and at the same time, get stupid high multipliers on your melee weapon? That would be dope. I should introduce you to Stealth Damage Multiplier on a Gas Build Redeemer. And a Redeemer Prime, Redeemer Standard, anything that can cast gas, shoot a melee weapon. Anything that can do gas, this will work for. And I'm going to show you an example. So let's do level 100, because that's sorting. If I could freaking not be retarded. We're going to score all the way down to level 100. And we're going to grab eight of these boys. Actually, we'll do four and four. And look. They're not particularly weak to... They're a tiny bit weak to Dachshund, but not very weak. Like, this should be doing a lot, not a lot of damage to him. Because look, let's take a look at the build. I have a ribbon for this, but it's not essential. You'll see that the ribbon is overkill. It's just a status chance damage ribbon. It's not crazy good. Uh, some crit mods, Dachshund, Fever Strike for more, tox, for more gas damage. Keep in mind... Heat mods will give you the gas damage and will increase your chance of proccing the gas damage But the DOT damage over time will only be increased by toxin mods not heat mods So keep that in mind basically you want one heat mod to spread the toxin around and then toxin mods to you know Kill stuff Let's turn on we'll do no invincibility just to show there's no tricks no a put on the AI and let's Go to work. All right and check this out That's just uncalled for. That's just rude. You see this? You see this damage up? What is that? Hey, buddy. He's dead. I almost killed him. Um. Now, I could end the video there, but I like talking, and to be honest, I like showing this kind of stuff off, so I'm going to keep going. Um, so let me show off a build without the ribbon, because let's be real, a damage status chance ribbon is not totally common, especially not for the Redeemer. All right, Q feet for strike, and we're going to use a pair of dual stats. Uh, we'll use you, and we'll use you. 100% status. Perfect. Magnetic gas, and we should have more gas and magnetic. This is obviously going to be quite a bit weaker because, you know, a damage and status chance ribbon for pure gas is hard to come by. We're going to shoot you right in the head. I don't know why you're looking at each other like you're in love. And as you can see, it's still insta-kills. Now, unfortunately, if you don't have the uh, stealth multiplier, the damage is only retarded. It's not ultra-retarded. But you can see clearly it's still... I want to go back to the ribbon one, though, because it's more fun, but you can see clearly it has no problem with any of this. It is still very viable one-shot machine. So let's go back to this one. So what are we dealing with here? Why is this doing so much damage? Well, your stealth multiplier applies three times as much for gas uh, than it does for everything else. So I'm going to give you the big numbers, but I'm not going to because it's not important. Just think about it this way. If you use stealth multipliers on melee weapons, on any gas weapon, it's going to do a lot more damage than it would for, say, a corrosive weapon. So, if you're going to build a stealth frame, use a gas weapon. I mean, just, just look at this. And these are sortie level enemies. These are some of the tankiest sortie level um, freaking boyos. Drone boys. And it's just outright insta kill them anymore. You. Look, that's no freaking one. That's just what a gas build does. Is it gonna one shot you? No. No. Alrighty. It almost one shot him. I think the only thing I got on my teleport. Yeah, we'll just dump some shots. Pro tip with the redeemer: 
Hold block. Use this, the block attack. Is the most simple shot. There's also the dual strike. That right there. Which we will demonstrate. One of these boys will turn on invincibility. We'll demonstrate what this does without stealth multiplier. With the dual. No, freaking. That's condition overload for you. That's a gas build. Keep in mind. And you could argue, oh, well, you could make a corrosive build. No armor strip. Why? Why would you armor strip? When are you going to find something with more armor than a level 100 corrupted heavy gun? And this just, this just bullies it. Two shots. That means one heavy attack combo will kill it. And that means to kill heavy things, you don't need attack speed. You don't need combo, nothing. You don't need anything for this weapon. This weapon out of the box can kill anything. 115 Drekkar Maniac Bombard. This is the only thing I've found that is like competent versus this level of damage. And even then, you know, all things considered, it's not awesome. This is with no damage buffs. That's just that. So yeah, that um, it's all right. It's all right. Gas damage on stealth. Use it. So let's oh, let's compare it. Let's compare it to a, a stealthy boy. Let's use stealth. Let's see how the damage compares. Um. There we go, that's that big one. Clearly the damage is substantially higher, you know, considering all of his resistances, he's taken an absurd damage amount from it. And if you think about it, the, the crazy part is, gas isn't a single target damage type. Gas excels in groups. And you know, I'll show you, I'll use a Ferox, and I'll show you what I mean. Because the real kicker with gas is that for every enemy in an that's a product with gas, it's spreading gas around that enemy so the more guys you hit the more overall damage you're doing so let's take um let's use let's use heavy gunners we'll use eight of these guys and you actually we're going to use nidus because nidus makes no it yeah you still never mind i don't know if this will work but we'll try it you guys seem yeah, for every enemy nearby, they're taking the every enemy I proc gas on, he's spreading around. So if I proc gas on this guy and this guy and this guy and this guy, that's four times as many gas procs. And a great way to shut this off, just because I'm talking about gas now and not the redeemer. This ultimately is about self multipliers and gas, but we're gonna show this off. We're gonna do Ignis and we'll do Nidus, just because you can't get self multipliers. So you're gonna look the damage comparison of one heavy gunner. And this is a cro uh, gas weapon, right? Gas. Alrighty. Kill that mature day off. 115 corrupted heavy gunner. This is just a gas build. Crit gas. I believe it was Vanguard. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, that's not awesome. I mean, it's killing him. It, it is killing him. But it's not efficient. I mean, efficient is safe, so of course it is somewhat efficient. But that's not awesome, because it's one target. But the more toxin procs we get, so let's grab eight of these guys. So you saw that general time to kill right there for one enemy. So you saw no damage changes, but then you got to get them all in one spot. And we'll have friends back. There were no headshots there. Keep that in mind. Look how many gas props there are. And you know, that's not a great comparison because um the person is getting headshots and he's on. So let's just kill him off. I mean, you can keep in mind how fast it's going killing these guys from all those gas props. And then let's switch and kill one without 
Headshots. You're gonna die? Keep in mind how fast you used all of those, and then we'll spawn one of these guys so you can see what it's like without headshots. Yeah, that's me. It's not really. Without headshots, this weapon doesn't do a whole lot. But against a group of them, it was nuking them relatively efficiently. I mean, you know, nuking them as much as a gas weapon will do versus heavy armor without a stealth multiplier. Let's go back and take a look at that group again. You s just to reinstate what I'm saying. So I like to be thorough. Sue me. Watch them as fast as help them. Because the overlapping gas props are spreading out so many, many more individual props. So you spray a group. That's why gas is good. Because one enemy, yeah, it's not going to do much more than it would be way less than a slash would. But slash doesn't multiply off individual enemies. You know, it's just you put on one person. So, same story goes for the Redeemer. Now, I can't get the stealth mo Oh, wait, actually, this is perfect because you get the stealth multiplier when they're. Uh, like this, so I don't have to be stealth. So that's what a stealth multiplier would do if they were all in one spot, roughly. Keep that in mind. And then we don't show one enemy because clearly it's gonna one shot one enemy. But this will one shot a bunch of enemies. That's what I'm getting at. If you just kind of fire, because the spread is pretty big on the enemy, like it's decently big. So, you know, if you think about it, if you, there was an enemy I was aiming at here, I could feasibly hit one a couple behind him with those two. And if all those proud gas, I mean, it's just going to do a lot of damage. Uh, what if I got, I'm just curious now, because we're getting the stealth multiplier. Which I don't usually like using stationary enemies versus melee, but I'm showing off what stealth multiplier does, so might as well. Let's see what it does versus maniac bombards. No resistances to toxin, just real meaty boys. Oh, I can't get this guy's in one spot. Okay, let me see that it's... I didn't shoot several of those people and they still died. Clearly, if I put a big shot into him, he's going to take a ton of damage. Big shot into him. He's taking damage. Dead. And that's why stealth multiply is important. It's just so nice. Now, I'm going to be honest, I don't know how status chance works in the Redeemer. Because I'm not sitting 100% status, but clearly, clearly I'm getting plenty of procs. Like, I'll show you my build again to make sure you can see that. But I'm not at 100% status yet. I'm getting... Not you. Come on. Like, several procs. So, I think this may function like it would for any weapon. You could try going for maybe not, like, 75% status chance. I'm not sure. I would just roll with the 100 because clearly this build works just fine. It does plenty of work. Make sure you get condition overload in here because that's gonna ramp up your damage pressure point. And you saw even without the even without the ribbon and without the self multiplier, our gas redeemer does more than enough damage. But with all of this, with all of this damage, there is nothing this can't kill. And I'm gonna right now see if I can just outright use the heavy attack and one sh and like two shot this guy. This is the toughest enemy in my arsenal. I want to see if I can kill him. What does that do to him? That might outright one-shot him. So with a decent driven and uh, a balanced build, you can one-shot anything with a stealth multiplier. One, one-shot. And again, if you're, so keep in mind, like if you pin down to like, a, you know, high level sword of defense, and you're pinned down to corner, you just grab an ash, and then this, and then fire this into groups, and the group will die. 
it. Um, deuces. <laughs>